Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. You guys know Alliance Paradigm is one of our favorite floor plans and manufacturers of RVs. And behind me, we're taking a look at the one that has two full bedrooms. This is the 2024 Alliance Paradigm 395 DS. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the Alliance Paradigm. Believe it or not, I've never got to review one of these. The last time we showed you guys one of these was Will and Jen in Elkhart, Indiana during dealer's open house last year. And coincidentally, it's the unit that Will's showing you guys again today. Hey Will! Hey guys! Why are you going to be showing us this RV? Well, we just got back from a cruise. Yep. We mentioned it two days ago. Matt's not feeling good. Um, so maybe you pick something up on the cruise, but his throat's hurting and uh, we want to have good energy or not energy. But, wow. You know, so you're saying I got bad energy. No, no, no. Just like uh, very talkative. Yes. I guess. Yes. And I'm here, y'all. I'm the wingman today. Yes. So model is 395 DS. The actual tip tip length is 42 feet, six inches. Okay. Dry weight is 14,230 pounds. Hits weight 2904. It's heavy. 98 gallons fresh, okay. 106 gray, 106 black. Will, yeah. something that's super exciting about Paradigm is that you own one yourself. I do, yeah. Tell us a little bit about those weights. Yeah, this is a heavy, heavy trailer, okay? So you you cannot tow this with a 2500, 250. Even a 3500 or 350, maybe, maybe some of them, um, but you're gonna be most comfortable towing this with a dual eight. Now, well, there will be people that are towing this with a 2500, yeah. and they're gonna say you're wrong because it tows it just fine, which they're right, Will. It will. A 2500, a three quarter ton truck will tow this just fine. What, what doesn't, what are we talking about then? Okay, so number one, this big of a trailer, 2500, probably is not gonna tow very well, especially going through the mountains, because it is all, it's not just the engine. My Ram can tow it. Yeah. It's the gear ratio and all that stuff as well. Even given that, let's say it does tow it fine. Two things, it can't stop it very well. <laughs> right. And it's this weight. What's it's, that? This is the weight that goes in the bed of your truck. So when you put this, when you hitch it up and you see the trunk, the back of the truck sink down, that's the pin weight. Mm. And um, like 2,500 is not rated for that. You know what they say, Will, always know before you tow. Yes, yeah, it's so important especially with something this big. Up front, you got a nice molded fiberglass front cap, painted as well. It says Alliance and Paradigm down here, I love it. And then you have the Kurt Rotoflex pin box right there. Great storage up here. Um, this has the solar pet, uh, solar standard solar mm. setup in here. Very um, nice. So you have your charge controller right there. Yes. Right here. This one is prepped. It is fully prepped. Oh, they got it taped down. Uh, for the generator, because you see these wires and you see the propane connection in addition to the cutouts. Now, Will's Paradigm, he has both the solar yeah. and the generator. Would you recommend that? Right there. Doing it again? I probably wouldn't. Um, both of those are pretty expensive. You know, I, I forget, between five and ten grand. Doubling up on it is kind of unnecessary in my opinion. So you would still do solar or you would still do generator, yeah. but you wouldn't double up. I don't think so. Probably what I would do is solar, and then I might buy a much cheaper generator ah. to charge up with if you ever got super low. Nice, very nice power awning with LED lights. Yes. Also on that slide out there. Yep, you have a propane tank right here, and you can also see six-point <laughs> hydraulic auto leveling. From Lipper. From Lipper, I love the um, six-point hydraulic. A little bit of storage up here. It's not great for a paradigm, truthfully. Nope. But that's because you have that rear um, bedroom, so. And then underneath there, Will, is a propane quick connect. Propane quick connect, and then you do have a little water station right there. Yes, sir. It's a power awning. Uh, you got your windows on the outside. Coming on over here, Lippert Solid Steps, air piston assisted. Yep, which makes it super easy. Oop, a little more than that, just to raise and lower. Very nice. And then also, I love this. We do have this on our Paradigm. They just started this the year that we got it. It's a CHT rail by Morai. Yep. Super clean and very, very sturdy. So 
especially compared to the old ones they were using. Not only that, Will, it does have Asdell on board. Yes. Asdell is the composite that sits behind the fiberglass that will never delaminate on you. Yep. Like you said, second power awning right here. You have power here. And this right here talks about the performance running gear. Quickly go over that. You have super G rated 4,400 pound tires. Um, you have disc brakes as an option. The more I'd see 3000 heavy duty wet bolts and shackles. That right here is one of the big reasons that we went with paradigm. Yes. Now you did the upgraded 8K axles. I did 8K axles and it came with heavier rated Cooper tires as okay. well. Okay. Okay. Um, again, you guys can order it that way, but it will be more money. That's right. And then look at these tires. Well, they're Sterlings. I love those. Yes, ST 235-85 R16. Yep, and like I said, more ride series 3000 there as well. Very nice. Coming down the side, more windows. Uh, that's your rear bunk area. Perfect. And then around back, it is prepped for a backup camera there. Very nice sturdy ladder here. Yes, I love it. I Up love on it. The roof, they're using PVC roof. You will have that 320 watts of solar standard. Mm. Um, all that standard because the solar package or no, just standard? That's standard. If it has a solar package, it'll have 960 watts of solar. Make sure you guys it. fact check that yeah. on this stock number 301162. Don't say because Matt and Will said we're yeah. assuming it. Talk to your salesperson here at General RV. Uh, 3,000 pound hitch with the four pin connector. Yep. Technically, you can tow behind this. Technically, we never recommend that. We do not. Uh, and I love this really heavy duty ladder. I know. By the way, don't let us see. I swear to God, y'all. You better not. You Ram 2500 owners. I know you're watching out there. <laughs> you better not be towing this with a 2500 and with 3,000 pounds behind you. Right. I know you're out there. All right. They know they're out there too, Will. Mm -hmm. There's a snake in my boot. All right. Uh, back here, you have uh, one of your black and gray tank dumps. Well, mother sick. <laughs> right here is storage for your stinky slinky, low point drains. And then coming around up front. We just went to the Bahamas and we learned what well mother sick meant. Right. And guess what? What? That's the Ram 2500 owners that are right. towing this I hear you. With, with their truck. Right. You can, but don't. <laughs> right. Don't do it. You've been warned. Oh, and look, it connects Trash through. Can. Yes. I like that. Second dump right here. 50 amp power, of course, right there. And then you, they have a 12 gallon water heater there, your furnace. Oh, I like how they're doing this. Yes. This new for this year. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. This very new. Very this is new. very new. Yeah. Okay, so we got our slide out controls on this side. This is awesome. I love that they're doing this. Tell so, me tell me what it is. Oh, and by the way, open that up. Yep. You see it's ATC. That's the uh electric company that does the black tanks. Right. Um in our sensor cleaner. Continue on. Okay, so what's really nice about this, so these these are your slide out controls. So now you can, especially if you're by yourself, you can literally stand here. Let me see. You can stand with my view, see that slide while you're hitting the button right here to put those slides out. Very nice. I love that. And then now I guess they're doing electric dump stations. Man, or, or very nice. Valves. I was wondering, cause I couldn't see the pole valves. Right, I can't believe that Brinkley copied Alliance. Yeah, no, I think uh, Alliance is copying Brinkley on this well, one. Well, you know what? Brinkley doesn't give us exclusivity. Right. So Alliance had it first. There you go. Uh, right here, you have an outdoor shower with hot and cold and water. not exclusivity, but uh, debuts. Right. But get, you know who does? Alliance. And so Alliance invented it. There you go. Congratulations, <laughs> Alliance. Um, water pump. And then right here you have, oh, that door hit me and I thought somebody like hit me from behind. Um, uh, you have your dry, your tank fill, potable water fill, potable. Yes, sir. And then your black tank flush city water connect. Watch your head. Up. I know. Where's the, uh, oh, it's up here. I saw that and I thought that they were uh, messing me. up. Yeah. Nope, they didn't. Other side of your propane and then your auto leveling right here. I love this. You can see when you're hitching up. So, well, guys, that is the outside. Man, I messed that up really bad. The inside looks even better, Well, Yeah, the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. <coughs> Good skip, Will. Nice. Go ahead. Watch me with my angles now. Okay. 
check this out we're gonna start with the uh kitchen y'all wow very nice mid living room y'all i got a nice refrigerator here we got steps to go up to that bedroom i'll watch your whole family eat dinner really nice rear bedroom y'all I like how there's no step in here. Oh, there's not? No. For some reason I thought there was. I thought it was a drop frame, but... So did I. Okay. Can I be honest with you guys? What? I can't identify drop frames like that. No. But, like... Nothing dropped down. It was all flush. Cool. Okay. And before we begin, y'all, we're going to start right here in the living room area. Let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parks, even the Corps of Engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, thousands trails koas and more travel dreams and destinations are made simple with rv life trip wizard and that's a part of rv life pro we are doing a free seven day trial and 25 percent off with promo code matt's rv reviews no spaces thank you so much to rv life for sponsoring us let's continue the video okay we're gonna start right here in this living room area mm. What I really like about this is you have that dual suite and you still have two couches and a dinette. So um, I think a lot of times on this floor plan, they only get one couch in the dinette. Yes, or they two do. Couches. Yep. Um, so I love how they did this. We'll start over here. Nice storage up top here. Very nice. We're going to be hanging out with Coley Brady this weekend as well at the we uh, West Palm Beach RV show. Nice TV insignia, power, sound system. And a fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. And by the way, um, we do sell Alliance nationwide, but now at our new Fort Pierce store, our Fort Myer store, and our Ocala store. That's right. We're going to do a factory first look, right? Yes. And we're going to have Coley on the show to do a factory first video on Alliance because we love Alliance. Windows all the way around. Let me make this into a tripod. So Dang, dude, you're doing good. Everybody can see. MCD slow rise shades and privacy blinds. Yeah. I think that's standard now, or it used to be an option. Really? But I have to double check on that. Two, uh, two cushion tripod. So okay. So it's going to be a little bit smaller, but it's good for one person. B bada bing, bada boom. And then you just put it up. Super easy. Just like that. And then you get the couch cushions back. Yeah. But what's even better is in this tripod are these theater seats right here. Yeah. Looking directly across from the TV Entertainment Center. Very comfortable. They recline. Uh, it's got like this reclines as well, like a little different because it's got the Oh, two. really? And then you do have a USB in there as well. And then right there, you are sitting directly across at your TV Entertainment yes, Center. Yes, you are. There. Did you already show all that? I did, yeah. Perfect. Over here, nice dinette. Um, so we have <coughs> two chairs. Let's see if it's big boy tested and big boy approved. No, so I don't know. Like no, it's tight. It's doable. It's doable, but it's not like big boy approved. No. And then right there seat. is the bench seat, right? Or is it table and chairs? Nope, table and chairs. Ah, okay. Very they nice. Just put them all on one side. Right there. I do love this nice big window here, though. Yes, big lets atrium in, windows. Yeah, lets in a lot of natural light. All right, well, go up there and show that uh, little okay. loft area. All right, up here in the loft, I'm not going to be able to go all the way up like you would. But uh, you can see... I do that. Yeah, this one's a little low. Uh, you can see there's a nice big bed, windows. I do like how much natural light's in here. Mm -hmm. They did duct the AC, which is not normal for Alliance, but you need it in this upper loft area. Nice. You can put a TV right there. You also have power right there. And then your light switches. Oh, and a thermostat right there as well. I love this part, Will. It just added a little more stability to it that did. ladder. But also it's a little more storage as well. Yeah. And Will... 
You know where we'll go for dinner with Ryan, with Coley, I mean? Where? Oh, we'll go to Sailfish Marina. Yeah. That's where I had Mahi Mahi for the first oh, time. Oh, okay. Or not know. the first time, the only time. Okay, in here is the second bedroom. Queen size bed. By the way, y'all, I'm not a seafood eater, so yeah. that, that was like a big accomplishment for there me. There you go. Talk to me, Will. Queen size bed, great <clears throat> uh, windows all the way around. Power, USB, and USB-C. I love that they're doing that yep. now. Yep, yep. And then underneath, you do have a little bit of storage. This is such a good floor plan. This really would be a good floor plan for me and Jen. We just always have somebody with us. Right now, we have a lot of people with us, and we're having to pay a lot for hotels and all yep. that. So. Yep. And for the first time, it's not me, because I'm in my alliance. Delta. You are, I know. Can I tell you something, though? What? Um, would you rather be in this with us? Well, no. I do oh. like my alliance Delta. But what I would say is... There's a lot of people from overseas yes. that want to do like an American tour. Yeah. This is the unit for you. It is. Yeah. Come here. And again, it's expensive, but you know what I'm saying? Like be comfortable. You know, people, people who are doing a four month American tour in an RV, they can afford, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So it's just like, yo, get this. You have your maybe adult friends or yep. adult children with you here. You're up there. You have a congregated living room yep. in the center. You know, you buy this for a hundred and then you sell it for 80 when you're done. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Big Especially bang. if you're here for a few months. Right. You know. Like, and I'm not talking like a one month thing. I'm talking like, you know, six months Every to six a year months. in America. Yeah, a year. You know, from yeah. overseas. Yep. This is the unit to do it in. It, it really is. Just yeah. saying. Yep. And there's a lot of people that do that. Actually, there's people over here now who just emailed me. I met them at Dusseldorf, Germany. Oh, really? And they're in Florida for about four months. That's cool. And I actually think they brought their unit over here really they shipped it over here and if they did you know we're definitely reviewing mm -hmm. it so well they shipped this floor plan to like ireland or, or oh something. did they a cup yeah alliance shipped a couple because they like <coughs> rent them out to uh, race car drivers or something so they set this up at the racetrack nice and they can have their family or whatever I'll watch your whole family eat dinner nice insignia tv they have to tow with the tractor trailer there though oh yeah because they don't really do like big trucks right a nice window here hidden storage and then look at how many drawers you have. Three, Tons six, nine, drawers. 12. Just open up one. Just and one? That, and that one too. This one? Yep. Hey. Just the top one of every uh, one. And top then, one. Well, Sorry. Okay, it's okay. Well, we just want to see the size. There you go. Those are all really big, nice drawers. Get back in there, Will. This is what Did we really... talk about the headboard and USB? Yeah, we did. Sorry, y'all. It's okay. I'm a bad cameraman. This is what really surprises me. I was ah. expecting short in here. Well, because normally the loft continues it over. Does. But you don't really need that. The loft space is big enough. And now I have a shower that I can use. Wow. This is like a first for the dual suite. So plenty of width, plenty of depth. Don't get me wrong. This isn't the, the big bathroom, right? But for the guest shower, this is amazing. This passes. Bing! That's shower test seal of approval. Sure is. That's really important, Will, because again, a lot of times... It's showers in here that I'm good for. Legit right. five foot. Like, I stand in the shower like that, you know? Um, and now this is good. So Sorry. if Will got rid of me as a friend and got another tall friend like him, yeah. um, then he can bring his tall friend with him. Right. But, well, it, the song goes, I got friends in low places, I know. not tall places. So, yep. Can't get rid Sorry, of you. everybody. Your friendship applications will be sent back to you. Will, can you show my foot here? Which one? Yeah. Both. This is a prime boom position, and okay. I'm not excited about it. If you got bigger feet, it's not. Gotcha. So it fails for me, but it passes for you. It fails for you. For you. Okay. Yep. But it passes for me, again, to each their own. Yep. Here's what I will say. They do have electric flushes right here. Yeah, I was wondering. That's like a very unique toilet. Yep. Cool. Porcelain. But it's still porcelain. That's all that matters. Oh, and hey, Bill Martin. You did a TikTok the other day. I oh, know. What, what, what was it on? Black, Black Tank Health or something like that. Black Tank Health. You could have thrown out Liquefied for once. I know. Bill Martin. If you guys don't follow Alliance on social media, make sure you do. And make sure anybody who's considering Alliance to join the Alliance Facebook group. Don't take it from me. Don't take it from Will. One, we are Alliance owners. But yep. we are also RV salesperson. I'll sell you a Brinkley. I'll sell you a Brinkley over an Alliance any day of the week. I'll sell you a Grand Villa. We sell RVs. With that said, join the Alliance Facebook group and find out why so many people love Alliances and so many 
salespeople love alliances. Shout out Ben Saxton. Yep. He works at General RV in Fort Pierce. Yep. He full times in his alliance. Yep. Too. So that's three salespeople from General RV. All of them own alliances. That's right. Don't get me wrong. We got good deals because we work for General. Of course. But again, we're all. We could have got a good deal on but, but hey, General isn't giving us an RV. Right. Do you know what time it is? Time for you to show us the kitchen. You want to do MSRP? Now? After the kitchen, we will. Okay, After. okay. This is a beautiful kitchen, well, people. And it you know is. what? I've kind of been rambling on, so okay. we won't wait. make them wait. Huge pantry right there. I yep. love the strip lighting all the way down so you can see every shelf. <coughs> nice Norcold compressor refrigerator here with tons of drawer space underneath. Yep. As you can see, flush floor kitchen slide there. Very nice. Here's Ryan and Coley Brady. Here's something that I want to tell you guys. These are young guys. They're not our acquaintances. They're our friends. Yeah. Coley was on vacation at the same spot we were at. Yeah. He's with his family. He calls us up. Yeah. He, he guys, can you do dinner? He wanted to meet us for dinner. We couldn't because our cruise ship yeah. was leaving at four o'clock. But again, like we're not associates. Like they are our friends. They're the co-founders of Alliance. And let me tell you guys something. I promise you. I will never lie to you guys. They will lie. They will lie. They will lie. I will never lie to you. And I don't think they would lie to me. They told us they are in this for the long haul. Oh, yeah. Not a three years, then a sellout. Not a five years, yeah, then a sellout. It's been three years. Right. So. We're talking. They're in it for the long haul. They're 40 years old. Yep. And I know that shouldn't matter, but it does matter. Yep. They're going to keep this company for 10, 20, 30 years. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Eventually, everybody's going to yeah, sell yeah, yeah. one day. You right. know, Thor will sell to somebody one day, you know. Yeah. But they're in it for the long haul. And the customer service, really, the legacy of what they can build with Alliance is what, what's going on with it. I agree. And they're just great, genuine people. They are. And that's why people are loving Alliance. That'll show through over time. And even Bill Martin's a genuine guy. He just doesn't like to shout me out on TikTok. I know. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> okay. Nice uh, cabinet space <clears throat> at the top here. All soft-closed cabinetry. Nice storage up there as well. Yep. Insignia microwave. Nice big microwave there. <coughs> Window on your non-camping side. There's that trash can thing. Nice tile backsplash there. Solid surface countertops throughout the entire kitchen. Looks very nice. You know this is my first time in this unit. I know. I've seen it a hundred times. Yep. And you want to know what's funny? I, we don't sell, but like I've sold multiple of these yeah. without ever being I in know. one, like officially. Nice big single bowl sink. Storage underneath, and it is dishwasher prepped in here. I don't know where, oh, it would probably go right here. Uh, insignia cooktop, insignia range hood, four burner. You got your uh, lights right here. Oh, because we're all on batteries. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. Yes, sir. I love that oven. Storage up top here. There's your generator start okay. in here. Again, it's prepped for that. Nice tile backsplash. A little bit of countertop space here. Drawers. And these drawers are all reinforced underneath. I love the silverware drawer. But the reinforcement underneath makes it so you can put a little bit more weight in there. And then right there is your breakers and fuses. And you want to know something else, Well, What's that? Walk up to that show. Oh, you know what? You know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. Remind me to tell everybody about the influencers in just a okay. second. Also that electronic control panel. Okay. MSRP on this unit here, stock number 301164, is $134,159. Will, that is MSRP. Sale price, we can't tell you the sale price because it is a 20, it's a current 2024 model year. But Will, if you watch our video this weekend from the West Palm Beach RV show, we will be showing our show prices, but those videos will come down after the show because we can only have them up for so long. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with that said, I know we can get everybody a lot better sale price than that. All you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscast. We'll link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from Matt's or VRReviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us or a member of our team and we'll reach out to you guys to help you get the best price in America. That's right. Also, feel free to email me or Will. It's Will and Matt. Will, Matt. W-I-L. Or, at yeah. Matt's or VRReviews.com. Jen's showing it on the screen right there. Those are our personal emails. 
Ask me about my Alliance Delta. Ask Will about his Avenue and Paradigm. He traded in his Avenue for a Paradigm. Or ask us to connect you with Ben Saxton. Um, again, he, you know how we have Becky B? Yep. Ben Saxton, he owns an Alliance himself. He's yeah. part of the Alliance family. And see why everybody is going crazy about Alliance. That's right. Not just everybody. Well, not just salespeople. First and foremost, look at all these slide buttons. Love that. I love the buttons. Well, you didn't even have all the lights on. I know. But I love all the buttons. You know why? I know that's on. Right. I know that's off. When this light is broken, I know the switch is on and off. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm not touching a screen. Is it reading my fingerprint or right, whatever? Right, right. We're not Steve Jobs. That's one. And then two, Will, mm -hmm. do you think it's annoying that all these influencers are all going with alliances? Annoying? Yeah. No. Do you? Not at all. Oh, okay. Be let me tell you. Go go ch check that shower. Okay. As exciting as it was to be, quote, special, to for me to have the first Alliance Delta and yeah. for Will to have an one of the first avenues yeah. and a paradigm for as special as it is it's like it's even more special that all of our fellow youtubers mm -hmm. are all switching to yeah. alliance yeah, it's and, it, cool. and it just goes to show you there's a reason why by the way i promise you this not to talk tea yeah to let you guys know a little bit about the rv industry every there is some manufacturers out there that are giving people RVs. And yeah. Like, hey, we love our blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? We love our blah, blah, blah. Alliance doesn't do that. I paid, Will paid, X, Y, and Z paid. Every influencer that you know that has an alliance bought it with their own money. Yeah. Says a lot, Will. It does. Says a lot. Talk to me. The shower is <clears> awesome. <throat> you guys know it's an alliance shower. It's encore. Oh, no, this is front line. Still, Still good. Doesn't matter. Plenty of width and depth. Huge skylight. This definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. Sure is. You got storage right here. Storage right here. Oh, we liquefied our That's brand right. of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, you can go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle. Yes. Or if you're attending the Alliance Rally, we are sponsoring the Alliance Rally, the National Rally, and this uh, and the Winter Summer Rally in Florida. Ally. So uh, we'll be giving you guys some for free. Nice sink right here, storage underneath. Or you guys can pick it up on Amazon.com. Just search right. Liquify. Or go to primepoopingposition.com. Yep. Or click the little sponsored link that says unique. And then buy one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love Alliance. This is not a it prime not, movement huh? position. I was wondering, is it your back right there? It's my back. I was wondering about that. And guess what? Love Alliance. Yeah. I'll never sell myself short. Well, my my, I'm cutting in. Okay. Can you see it? I, I can't see it, but I could see. Oh, I yeah. was looking at it before you even sat down. Get that. Get that. I'm cutting in. There you go. Right Definitely there. Not a deal breaker, but. But not, not a pass either. Not a pass. King size bed over here. USB chargers, power outlets there. Windows all the way around. This is a Serta King. Very nice looking headboard. Why am I talking, Well, I don't know. Storage underneath there with yep. the extra chairs. Those are the other two chairs. Continue on. Right here, nice insignia TV. <clears throat> MCD nightshades. Hidden storage. Mm. Six drawers right here. I'll just open the tops again. Yeah. Right there and right there. Very nice. Nice little spot to tie your shoes. AC controllers here. And then in here, not the biggest uh closet but still very very good size you can do side by side washer and dryer but really across from each other okay and we're back will and guess what this was the first time our osmo 3 overheated i know and guess what what we messed up it was a freezing cold january mm -hmm. we took it for granted we did i know in this closet you have a washer dryer prep on either side tons of closet space whether you put the washer and dryer in or not shoe storage all kinds of good storage in here. What? What's wrong? Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Yes. Now, before you guys go, it's time to give you three things we love about this unit, three things you don't like. Will, what would you like to do first? Let's do dislikes first. Dislike number one is on the outside. Dislike number one is on the outside? All right, let's kick it over to that. Dislike number one 
this storage, truthfully, the outside storage is lacking in this floor plan. Womp womp. Well, this is a big old fifth wheel. This it don't is. look like a lot of big old storage. Yeah, it's they 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 had to take from the storage a little bit in order to get that back room. Pros and cons. It is what it is. Well, that's just like number one. What's just like number two? That was dislike number one. Well, dislike number two, you're wrong. This closet sucks. Oh, you think so? It's a great closet. Yeah. For a paradigm, it sucks. Yeah. I do not like the size of this closet. Okay. Especially with a washer dryer and you got little to nothing. It's more like an avenue, to be honest. Again, for avenue, I'm not saying nothing. Right, right. A Delta, I'm not saying nothing. Even a Valor. For a paradigm, this closet is kind of sucks. But again, you also get two Right, well, you say bedrooms. it's not bad for a Valor, but... This is almost like a Valor, just with a cleaned up garage. You wow, know, put together good point, garage, Will. So. Good point. Hey, I still don't like it. That's just like number two. Will, tell me just like number third. Okay, just like number three. Truthfully, this kitchen area. It's tight. It's, it's, a, it's a little rough. So what, what what's rough about it? Just tell okay, me. Okay, so countertop space is here, but then it's super narrow. Okay. Like it should have come out a little bit more. You're kind of blocked in this little box here. Um, and then there's like no countertop space here. I personally, we have this trash can in ours. We never use it. Oh, really? No. Cause it's like awkward to go all the way around and dump it and all that. Okay. So, uh, it's just a small kitchen, but again, you know, you're paying, you're getting this floor plan for that. Yep. You know? If you're not huge into cooking, but you have more people coming, uh, this is a much better floor plan. So. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. And yep. Will... Why don't you show us like number one? Okay. This whole second suite. I mean, this is this is wow. what you're buying this floor plan. You called it a suite. Yeah. That's what it is, too. A second it suite. Is. You know, the, the extra bedroom, the privacy in mm. here, the shower mm. is awesome. The whole bathroom in there is actually very, very good. Yep. And truthfully, this might be one of the first units where the paying customer is sleeping in the back. Right. And the non-paying customer is sleeping up front. Because not only that, that's a that's a private secluded bathroom. It is. Where this one, everybody's going to be using it. Yep. That's like number one. Well, like number two, I'm not going to lie. I do like the sitting room area. Again, a lot of times you'll see units like this. They're only giving you uh, one sofa and a dinette. Or two sofas and no dinettes. Yep. This one's doing both. You know, it's very nice. It's very spacious. And um, it's just a really good design. And I really like it. I like the flush flow slides. I like the big atrium windows and everything. Yep. Very, very nice. That's number two. And then, well, what's like number three? Like number three. Hmm. Like, I gave so much to that back bedroom. Um, I'm going to say two things. The loft, how they got such a big loft in while still keeping that um, bathroom, like, head. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. Smart. Yep. And... Even though it's not necessarily for me, I love how they still got a dinette in here with the two couches. Now, me personally, I would take this and spin it yep. to make a desk. Um, but just the fact that they have that space for those that do want it is awesome. Not only that, well, I'm going to triple combo it with the size of both showers. Yeah. Fantastic. That's an important feature in everything. It is. Is it on me? Yeah. Looks a little angled. A little bit, but... We'll recenter it. Bam. There we go. Bam. Bada bing, bada boom. Well, guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys can join us this weekend at the West Palm Beach RV Show. Coley Brady said he's going to be there showing everybody alliances. And General RV is the dealership representing Alliance. If you guys want to get an RV show price on this unit, please click our link down below. Reach out to a member of our team or send me and Will an email directly on any Alliance products. That's Matt at MattsRVReviews.com and Will. W-I-L at MattsRVReviews.com. Yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike about this floor plan. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And we'll, we'll see you next time.